Good day folks, Sean here from Air Photography. So in this video today, we're gonna to be taking a look at the dynamic home point feature of the DJI Mini 5 Pro. That feature was added first to the Mavic 4 Pro and it was brought over to the Mini 5 Pro as well. Now, when the Mavic 4 Pro first launched, you could only utilize that feature when using the RC Pro 2. But I believe it was on the 25th of September, they released a firmware update that made dynamic home point compatible while using the RC2, the standard controller. So that's what we're gonna take a look at in this video today. I'm gonna to show you how to set it up, how to use it, and a few things you should be aware of. So we're gonna put the drone up here, and uh, if you're brand new, you heard there that it updated the home point, and uh, we're gonna take a look at that here in a second. So let's just uh, send the drone over here, just away from us a little bit. Now I'm going to talk a little bit about some basics here first uh, for those who are watching this and are brand new. I'm going to bring up the map here so you can see what I'm talking about. Now if we take a look at the icons on the map, you can see that blue triangle is the drone, that blue dot is me, and the yellow H is a home point. So in the event of a failsafe disconnect or we've manually initiated a return to home or the battery gets too low, the drone is going to come back to that yellow H and it is static so it won't move. And you can see that the home point is yellow. Again, that's important because yellow means that it's static. So that works extremely well. I actually did a demonstration of the return to home capabilities of the Mini 5 Pro about a week ago. Uh, you should really watch that if you're brand new. It's pretty amazing how it works. I'll include a link to it down in the description of this video. But what happens if we move? Say we're on a kayak or a canoe or I'm hiking through the forest here. Perhaps we're doing some tracking in a car we may end up a mile away from where we took off from. And uh, of course we can go in and manually update the home point, which is pretty simple to do. We can go into our settings. Under the safety tab, we're just gonna scroll down and we have an option there that says update home point. So we can update it to the aircraft or the controller. But the problem is, is we don't always have that luxury. If we're like tracking ourselves and there's a problem, a fail safe disconnect because we've lost connection to the controller we can't go in then and update the home point and the drone could be headed back to the home point that could be a kilometer or a mile away so what they have is a feature called dynamic home point and i'll show you how to enable that if we click on the three dots again to go into our settings again we'll go back to the update home point you can see at the top there there's an option that says dynamic home point so we can tap on that then we'll hit ok And what you're going to notice there is that home point has now turned blue. So when it's yellow, that means it's a static home point. When it's blue, that means it's dynamic and it will follow the controller around. The other thing you're going to notice there is that the return to home icon turns blue as well. So it's a quick visual reference. You'll always know whether you have a static home point set or a dynamic home point. And that's actually another way we can get at that dynamic home point setting. If we were just to tap on the return to home button, you can see at the bottom there, it says update home point. So that'll bring us to that same page. That's just a quick second way at which you can update that, switch between static home point and dynamic home point. Now I'm gonna demonstrate that here in a minute. We're gonna go for a walk, but a really important thing to note is when you have a dynamic home point set, it behaves a little bit differently than a normal return to home. In a normal return to home, when that H is yellow, the drone is gonna come back to the location fairly accurately and it's gonna come down and automatically land. Now, when we have a dynamic home point enabled, what it's gonna do in the event of a fail-safe disconnect or we've manually initiated it, the drone is gonna fly back to the dynamic home point and then just come to a stop and hover up in the air. And the reason it does that is because it doesn't know the type of terrain that it needs to land on. We could be out on water or on a river so the landing ground may not be suitable to land the drone. So what it's gonna do is just come to the general location and then just stop and hover. And then you have to manually land it. So I've just packed up my backpack and now we're just gonna go for a bit of a walk and then we'll enable a return to home using the dynamic home point. Might get a little noisy. There is a train track beside me and there's a train going by right now. Let's actually see if we can turn the drone and see it. Have to put it up a little higher here. It's kind of in between those trees there.
But yeah, let's continue here. This weather is absolutely gorgeous for being October 1st. It's still like a summer day out. All right, so I have now moved to a different location. Now it's hard to tell on the map because there really is no reference points to see where I was and where I've moved to. But as you can see, the home point has stuck with me. So now if I initiate return to home, or if it's become disconnected and it's a fail safe return to home, it's going to come back to where I am. So let's go ahead and we will do that now. We'll tap on return to home. Return to home. And you can see the virtual home point is blue as well. So what it's going to do here, it's just going to come to the general location and it's just going to come above us and just stop and hover. And there we go there. So you could see there once it got to the point, it just stopped the return to home and now it's just hovering right above us. Now I'm going to turn the camera down here and you'll see why that's important. You can see the virtual home point. I am right under a tree right now. So that's why it doesn't automatically come in for landing because it doesn't know the environment that you're going to be in. Now, as mentioned, when you do a regular return to home, you're not using dynamic home point. It will build a real time map on its outbound flight. So it has a good understanding of the environment. In that situation, when you do a return to home, it can come in and navigate really complex environments. And I highly recommend if you're brand new, watch my return to home video that I made the other day. Again, I'll link it down in the description. It's pretty incredible how it works. So now at this point, I just have to bring the drone in myself for a manual landing. And that's okay. You know, using a dynamic home point, you just want it to come back to the general location. That way you don't lose your drone. So yeah, folks, just a quick demonstration of the dynamic home point feature of the Mini 5 Pro and demonstrating it on the RC2. Hopefully you enjoyed this video and found it had value. Thanks a lot for watching and we'll see you in the next one.